the orchestra is back in Israel, starring former members of the legendary band Electric Light Orchestra and ELO II. This is the third time that British violinist Mick Kaminsky and American keyboardist and vocalist Eric Troyer are bringing the band to Israel. The, the crowds are so enthusiastic that as soon as we come on stage, they're singing along and clapping and chanting, so it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful place to play for us. Since its formation in 1970, ELO has experienced its share of interruptions, side projects, lineup shakeups, and lawsuits. Yet beyond the disputes, the songs have always remained optimistic, fresh, and relevant. The quality of the songs, great, great melodies, great lyrics, and um, we, we have a very wide range audience from young kids to people our own age, so it's, it's, it's a long-lasting um, you know, legacy. Though. The orchestra had previously performed in the Holy Land in 2009 and 2015, but Kaminsky says it's never been contacted by the boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement to cancel their concerts. Jeff Lynn, co-founder of the original ELO band, owns the rights to the name Electric Light Orchestra. After settling a legal dispute with Lynn, Kaminsky agreed to adopt the name The Orchestra. <laughs> to make things even more confusing, Jeff Lynn's ELO is also touring in 2019. The Orchestra and Jeff Lynn's ELO are both playing similar lineups. The Orchestra performed two concerts in Tel Aviv. Hits like Telephone Line and Don't Bring Me Down will bring nostalgia to their Israeli fans. Erica Jackson, I-24 News.